Hello everybody from Plant Reviews, today 14th of March, uh, in the, it is uh, one of the last days of winter, will be over in about a week, and I talk today about uh, lungworts, uh, the pulmonarias that are beautiful uh, plants for shady uh, garden or shady spots in the garden, uh, thanks to the uh, beautifully variegated leaves as well as the gorgeous flowers. Um, pulmonaria uh, is a genus of uh, flowering plants, uh, perennial and deciduous, so they um, tend to uh, lose the uh, leaves in um, late autumn, early winter, but they will grow um, new leaves uh, just before or uh, just after flowering, so uh, the plant is now developing new uh, leaves. Uh, the um, name pulmonaria comes from the Latin pulmo, uh, word, the Latin word pulmo, that means lung. And uh, the name uh, is due to the fact that um, in historical times uh, the um, spots that on the leaves uh, present in many species of pulmonaria uh, were, uh, kind of were reminded people of uh, ulcerated or diseased lungs. So uh, in traditional medicine they were using the leaves of these plants to treat the respiratory uh, problems. Uh, the name uh, in Latin pulmonaria then stayed uh, also in the English term lungwort, uh, indeed for lungs. Uh, the plants are uh, the genus um, Pulmonaria is uh, in the family, is classified in the family uh, Boraginase. So uh, these are plants related to the Borage and they're native to Europe and Asia. Uh, there are uh, about 18 species, uh, the precise number is disputed among um, scientists. Uh, however, in addition to the uh, wild species, there are several hybrids as well and varieties that are um, more or less popular popular in the garden. Unfortunately, uh, I have been keeping this plant for a while, so I lost uh, some of the tags. Uh, however, uh, I have still one uh, tag about one pulmonaria here. That is the pulmonaria victorian brooch that is just started flowering with this beautiful pink flowers. I'm not too sure about uh, the, this variety that has uh, um, purple flowers, uh, however uh, there are several varieties and you can basically have a look to many websites or garden centers and find the one that suits best to you. Um, one of my probably uh, future purchases will be the blue ensign, it is a beautiful uh, lungwort with the bright blue uh, flowers. Um, the plants, uh, as you can see, uh, they grow from central uh, rosettes and uh, they are herbaceous uh, perennials clump forming. The leaves are covered in uh, hair. Unfortunately, I can't really show you very easily, but I will try to. You see this, uh, actually, I think you can see uh, against the dark uh, yeah, against the dark, you can see actually on the margin of the leaves this hair. So um, the leaves of the um, pulmonarias of the lungworts have a, a very hairy uh, surface uh, that uh, the hair and the hair sometimes can be quite bristly, uh, sometimes instead they are uh, softer. Um, the pulmonaria uh, grows from underground uh, rhizomes uh, that uh, um, are slowly uh, creeping, so in this way uh, pulmonarias grow in sides. Uh, the plants are pretty small plants, as you can see. Uh, I have them at the front of my uh, border in uh, shady areas. They are about 20 to 30 centimeters tall and up to 60 centimeters wide in uh, well-grown plants. Uh, the leaves are arranged in rosettes and are usually uh, quite large, as you can see. See, these are some of the old leaves of the pulmonaria and uh, they are about uh, probably in my case about 15-20 uh, centimeters long and uh, at the maximum width they are about uh, 7 centimeters wide. The plants uh, as uh, um, 
the plant uh, has leaves that, as you can see, usually are variegated. Not all varieties and species have variegated leaves, but most of them, uh, they do have variegated leaves. And uh, uh, this spotted or marbled color is uh, due to the fact that uh, the leaves uh, the foliage uh, in the leaves uh, it is there is a presence of air pockets that mask the chlorophyll that is below these air pockets so uh, basically where these air pockets are uh, the um, color is a bit paler uh, the, so you can see in these leaves uh, on a, a dark green background there are spots of splashes of a, a lighter green where the air pockets are. The inflorescence uh, is constituted of several flowers that are clustered in a corymb, so you can see this uh, um, cluster of flowers and the flowers are tubular uh, you can see uh, the calyx here uh, is uh, like a tube and also the calyx is hairy and uh, well the corolla uh, ends up with uh, five lobes uh, the color as i said usually is bluish or purple however pink varieties like this one uh, that is the victorian brooch are also known uh, the leaves the, sorry the flowers unfortunately i've never yeah, the flowers, unfortunately, are not uh, fragrant. However, they are uh, really beloved by pollinators. Uh, they enjoy a lot the, uh, these plants. At the moment, it's quite cold, so there is no pollinators around. But I can guarantee to you, these are some of the plants uh, best uh, suited uh, if you want a pollinator-friendly uh, garden, especially bees and bumblebees love the flowers of uh, the uh, language. Words. The um, plant uh, it is uh, uh, quite uh, um, easy to grow and uh, it blooms uh, as you can see obviously between late winter and early springs and early spring uh, the plant as i said is very easy to grow to grow and uh, is uh, widely used in gardens for as a ground cover in shady areas in it is really important for Langworts to provide moist soil uh, and damp, uh, preferably not waterlogged, really, but uh, keeping the um, soil moist is very, is very, very important. Also, uh, most of the langworts really can't stand uh, full sun, so it is uh, definitely better to provide uh, partial shade or light shade. And uh, in my garden, they've been growing quite well. The um, the plants are uh, hardy uh, in uh, throughout the UK. They are hardy from zones six to eight, so uh, definitely throughout the majority of the UK. However, some species and some hybrids are hardy uh, down to minus four. Sorry, uh, down to uh, USDA zone four. Uh, so um, just check, obviously, if you like uh, langworts, what varieties or species are best suited to you. In the United Kingdom, where I live, I have to say that uh, langworts can grow basically everywhere in uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, in cultivation, uh, as I said, um, they are pretty easy to grow. However, unfortunately, these plants usually are not very long-lived. I have them about, uh, I've had them for about three years, and uh, this is a plant that has always been here, so it is uh, uh, quite big, even if not as big as it could have been, because it is a quite crowded uh, area, uh, this uh, part of my shady uh, garden, you can see with uh, skimmias and cyclamens as well uh, while these are cuttings i planted last year uh, from uh, they were in a, um, in an area that was a bit too sunny so the plant was suffering so i uh, took some uh, cuttings and i planted some here uh, they're still pretty small and uh, however they are doing well you can see even if the, the cuttings were small they already uh, they are already uh, flowering the best way to uh, um, 
propagate pulmonaria is in autumn, but can you can also do in early spring, uh, dividing the rhizomes, uh, so uh, and then obviously uh, planting them in uh, different areas of the garden. However, pulmonarias can also uh, self seeds, self seed uh, if the obviously the soil is moist enough and. Um, uh, you don't have too many uh, slugs or snails uh, that sometimes tend to uh, chew on, uh, on on the leaves, especially of the of the young plants. Uh, another disease to which uh, the pulmonaria slangworts can be quite sensitive is the mildew, um, especially if the aeration in the areas where you place the plant will put the plant will plant the plants uh, is poor however uh, in my garden unfortunately I never had any problems with mildew on my uh, lung words uh, I found uh, other plants that are a bit more sensitive but at least these hybrids look quite resistant uh, also species tend to be a little bit some species of uh, lung words tend to be a little bit more sensitive to mildew mildew <laughs> I'm sorry for the pronunciation uh, than hybrids so definitely uh, pulmonarias are uh, absolutely a great plant to have in a garden especially um, if you are looking for a ground cover for a uh, shady garden uh, they are beloved by pollinators so it's a way to help uh, the nature and the wild organisms and as well they add really a, a nice uh, um, way a nice ornament to the garden with their uh, very uh, variegated foliage uh, the variegated foliage is present in most of the hybrids and their beautiful flowers with such an intense color, color in blue, purple and pink, however also some white um, varieties are known. As usual I thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you would like to subscribe to my channel this would be great, it's completely free for you, uh, but in this way uh, the YouTube platform uh, recognizes that uh, some people like my videos and um, tend to promote them better on the platform. As usual, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!